Okay, good morning to everybody. I am going to present on electrostatics. So I am Dr. D. Samarizan, Professor, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Rodi College of Engineering and Technology, Kenya Kumari. So introduction, actually, what is electrostatic? It is a branch of physics that deals with the phenomena and properties of stationary or slow moving electric charges with no acceleration. There are many examples of electrostatic phenomena from those as a symbol as the attraction of the plastic wrap to your hand after you have to remove from it from a package to the apparently spontaneous explosion of grain sloth to damage of electronic components during the manufacturing to the operation of the photocopiers. Next, Coulomb's law. So, actually, it is defined as the electrostatic forces directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the two point charges and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So, that is the forces directly proportional to that is Q1 and Q2 divided by R square. So, where F is the electrostatic force and Q is the charge and R, that is small r, is the distance between the two charges. Then, electric field. So, actually, electric field, it describes the electric force experienced by a motionless positively electrical charge test particle at any point in space related to the source of the field. The concept of an electric field was introduced by Michael Faraday. Actually, it is a point defined as the force experienced by a unit charge placed at that point. So, that is called as an electric field. Then electric lines or force. So these are the main properties. So they always originate on a positive charge and terminate on the negative charge. So they always leave or hinder a conducting surface at right angles to it. They never cross or touch each other. Line of the force which have same direction ripple each other and having opposite direction to attract each other. So the figure it can be clearly shows. So here we can see clearly see it can ripple each other. Here you can see it can attract each other. Then electric flux density. So, it is defined as the flux per unit cross-sectional area amantling normally from surface. It depends upon the relative permittivity of the dielectric medium. That is, D is equal to Q divided by A. Where D is a flux density, Q is a total flux and A is the surface area. So, then electric field. That is intensity of electric field. It is a force experienced by a unit positive charge placed at that point. So that is E of XYZ is equal to F on Q XYZ divided by small q. It is equal to the electric potential gradient in magnitude. It is equal to the line of force passing through a unit cross-sectional area at that point. So, then the potential difference, it is the work done in a moving unitary positively charge within an electric field from a point of lower potential difference to the point of higher potential difference. So, this is the change of voltage between A and B, that is V minus B, that is VB minus VA is equal to minus of integral of R0 T B E into DL minus minus of integral of R0 into A, E into DL. So then the sources and effects of 